Okay, guys. Well, welcome back to the science lab. First experiment of the new season. So, I'm excited, or half season. Um, we're going to be looking at static electricity today, guys. Ooh, you had an exciting. experience with static electricity in your lives? Aww. I know Becca often does right before we <laughs> Yeah, right before going. we go on set every day, <laughs> my hair. Yeah, yeah, Becca's hair seems like particularly, su yeah. particularly susceptible to it that. Is. Definitely. Mine's curly, so it doesn't really do much, but like you often see if like a little kid goes down like a slide really fast, mm. the contact of the hair with the slide will create a, a, a difference in charges between the hair and the slide, and the kid's hair will come out all standing oh, up on yeah. <laughs> So we're just going to be talking a little bit about what static electricity is and how it works today. So I think what we'll do is I'll show you a couple demos, and in between each demo I'll give you a little bit of, of info. Okay, um, so the way we're going to be generating static electricity, a little bit funny looking, but it works really well. <laughs> this is a PVC pipe, okay, and this is just a like cotton washcloth that's nice and rough, uh, and the additional surface area just going to help me generate a little extra static electricity. So I just take it like this and just rub up and down like this. And can you guys hear what's yeah. happening? Yeah, here? it does. It sounds staticky. Static right, yeah. like I mean, if you just this, it's going to sound nice and smooth, but you can definitely hear that popping sound mm -hmm. of electricity. So yeah. I know that there's some electricity on there. Okay, so um, what is what is happening? Like, what's happening between the cloth and the it's pipe? Creating a lot, of, a lot of friction. I mean, I'm definitely creating yeah. friction. And what do you think is happening between the surface of the cloth and the surface of the PVC pipe as I create that friction? That would create electricity. Any thoughts? Positive energy. Has something to do with positive or negative energy? Definitely. I'm thinking of ions. I keep thinking of ions. And oh, it's kind of related to ions. So the word electricity, do you guys know where it comes from? Electrons. It comes from electrons, definitely. You know where the word electrons comes from? It actually comes from the old word for amber. Um, so electra was the word for amber, like the stone, because it was found centuries ago. Uh, millennia ago, no doubt, that you could rub wood and amber together and get a static charge uh, built up. Oh. Okay. And so later, a scientist was looking at this old account, saw the word electra used, and decided to coin the term electricity. I don't feel that bad that I didn't know that. No, First, no, it is like, no, it is totally way back. <laughs> no, but, no, I don't feel that bad. But it comes from this idea of static electricity, and it comes from this idea of being able to rub back and forth together. And electrons are really key. So um, you guys may know that all matter is made of atoms, and atoms are composed of protons, neutrons, and electrons. You might also know that electrons are sort of the pieces, they are negatively charged pieces, they're small and they're floating around the outside of the nucleus, which is composed of the protons and neutrons. So the thing we're really messing with here are electrons, and in fact, electricity itself is just flowing electrons. Okay, and that's electricity that we can use. Static electricity is what it sounds like, it's static, it's staying in one place, you can't really use it. Um, and for a long time, we thought of static electricity as just being totally useless, other than for fun little experiments. So, anyways, I can charge up the thing, and who do I want? I guess, uh, Nate, I'm going to have you do this first one, okay? All, All right. right. Now, here, take this charged thing here. And then what I'm going to have you try to do is can you put, can you, don't, do not touch the can, but put it next to the can and like see what happens. To the side of it? To the side of it, yep. Let's just see what happens. Oh, wow. Oh. That's okay. like magic. Wow. So, yeah, and you can actually kind of guide it back and forth. So, why don't you see if you can too. roll it over towards Caitlin? So, you can do it, or you can touch it. That works perfectly. And then jump to the other side, and roll back towards yeah, me. I can't really. Before it goes off the edge, come Almost. on. So, you might be able to do it without having, only when it's touching, huh? Oh, yep. Ah, uh, they get some speed. Yeah. And you should be able to, you know, just pull it back and forth. Um, again, we have t sent a lot of electrons from this cloth onto the PVC pipe, so it's negatively charged. And the aluminum in the can, there are positive charges there, and so there's an attraction between the positive and negative yeah. charges. Pretty exciting, that huh? That's really cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, and like it's sort of simple, but it's pretty amazing to think. Yeah. It almost looks like magic, you know? You get a so, little small PVC pipe and pretend you're a wizard. So you're saying scientists are <laughs> wrong. Static electricity is useful magic for moving water. cans. <laughs> right, moving cans <laughs> around smooth tables, right? right. They were so wrong. <laughs> Okay, so let's see. So, okay, I'm going to have you do this next one. So, okay, um, what I have here is just a little bit of aluminum foil. And this is kind of a similar thing, uh, aluminum foil, aluminum can. Uh, but just, again, kind of to see the effect here, um, I'm going to put it on the end of the string. I just have a little slit cut in it. And I'm just kind of going to squish it around the string so it stays, maybe. Ba -ba -da. Okay, Kim, can you just hold that up for me? Yes. Okay, cool. And then I guess I'll just do this. So let's see if we can 
get this uh, shown on the camera here, but I will, and actually what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna generate a little additional static electricity because what can happen is uh, as you sort of use the static electricity, some of it's gonna get discharged. So I'm going to just rub the PVC pipe again. <laughs> sort of a funny looking thing. Okay, and then I'm just gonna come over here and oop, Ooh, wow. wow. And you can see that Very it really reactive. does, and maybe if I go this way, the camera can see it a little better. Um, and, and you can already see some of that electricity is discharged, but without me touching the thing, I'm affecting the movement of it, and the string just sort of helps yeah. us to see that. <laughs> so here, I'll do one more here. Yep. It's magic. Yep. Yep. Wow. And so it is like just creating a little <laughs> tiny magnet, yeah. right? And sort of, and you know, I, it's a little bit silly. I, I, it'd be hard to think of really applicable uh, or, or really good applications for this, but maybe if you drop something really light somewhere, you could magnet it up. Mm -hmm. It's definitely possible to magnet things. Like, let's mm -hmm. see if I can magnet this. Oh, no, we'll have to mess with that in a minute. Okay, this one's really cool. This is this is one of my favorites before my, my grand finale. So, Becca, I'm gonna be helping with this one. Yes. And maybe, Becca, what I'll have you do is here, take the, take the stick, add some static electricity to it for me. And while Becca's, oh, doing that, I'm just gonna <laughs> squirt water all over Nate. So what I have here, hopefully it's not gonna get too much water. So this is a water bottle that I've cut a hole in. You can see every time I shake it, a little bit of water's coming out. Uh, okay. I'm relying on the vacuum created uh, by the lid to keep that water from spilling out. But in just a second here, I'm gonna create a stream of water that flows into our empty little basin here. And I'll try to set it up here so that you guys can see well on the camera. Now the cool thing about this is water has a negative side and a positive side. So, oh, oh. Nate, I'm just, I'm all right. Sorry. <laughs> Just squirting everywhere. Uh, uh, water has a negative and a positive side, so uh, just like the, the aluminum, we're going to be able to get sort of a magnetic effect, hopefully, between the water and the static pole. You all ready there? I don't know. Well, you got some static electricity generated? I think all so. All right, so here, let's see if I can. All right, so uh, I'm just going to kind of keep that going there. Can you, do, again, don't touch the water, but can you bring this stick close to the water? and Let's see what happens. Did you see, did it raise at it all? It's kind of hard. It's raising to tell. a little bit. I guess it's kind of hard to tell. So let's see if I can maybe try to get, okay, so Becca, grab the cloth and charge it back up again. I'll just keep doing this. I got water on it. Is yeah, so the water, th that's totally fine. Getting water on it, I've noticed, seems to discharge it pretty quickly. So yeah, if you just clean it off and then keep doing that, you should hear the little crackling sound. And I'll kind of try to keep it at more of a uh, downward thing. See if you can pull it sideways, Becca. Oh, this way. See it bending? Yeah. Huh. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's see. Maybe, yeah, that direction. Can you try to go from that side, from the front of it? Can you pull it up? You're going to have to charge it one more time, Becca. It's all right. We got lots of water. <laughs> Don't even worry about it. Let's see if I can get a really just flat stream and see if you can pull that toward the empty end of the canister. Uh, Come on. Not so much? Go. We can see it moving a little bit. Yeah, we can see it a little bit, but it's just uh, really, it's hard, really to hard to see it on see camera. On camera. So I'm, I was getting really good movement out of my the tap earlier. Could we try, Nate, could you maybe try to hold this for me? Sure. I'm going to try one more time. Becca, do you mind? Not that I'm any better at rubbing the stick on you, but <laughs> we'll, just, we'll just see if I can manipulate this a little better for the camera. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I can hear all that static electricity. Okay, here we go. Oh, can you see that? Nope, oh, yeah. Not. Could that you, see, could you guys see that bend? Bit. Yeah. So it's wow. it should, you may, can maybe see bit. as I come in and out, the kind of difference. Can you do it on the other side? Yeah, let's do it, let's do it on the other side. Let so me just, more static, electricity. <laughs> okay, all right. Oh, oh, oh wow. You see that? Got it on the table. Yeah, I was yeah. actually able to pull it out of the, the thing. So it is, it is kind of a neat thing to experiment with, and you don't have to use a PVC pipe to do this. There's lots of different things. Balloons are often used. Um, so if you can charge up a balloon with static electricity mm -hmm. and then get a really, you, you can't use, you know, a major stream of water. It's got to be a thin stream like this. So you can do what I did, poke a hole in the bottom of a uh, water bottle, and it, yeah, you can just cap that and set that in there. Yeah. Um, but you can also just get a really thin stream of water running from your tap, and you can pull it left and right. Oh, kind of cool. neat That's thing cool. to see. Okay. The last one, oh, this got wet. I don't know if it's going to work. So the last, the last <laughs> one I've been struggling with a little bit. I really want this to work. Uh, I've had it work sort of for me. And oh god, the water on here might make it extra impossible. But um, I am a fan of the Harry Potter series. And so this is, I saw this in a YouTube video 
and they called it Wingardium Leviosa. And if you're familiar with the series, you'll know that that's the spell for making things float or fly. The levitation. The levitation spell, thank you. Uh -huh. That's much, much more technical. Um, <laughs> so anyways, uh, what I'm going to try to do here is I'm going to try to charge up both this piece of bag. This is just a piece of a plastic bag that I ripped off. It's really pretty small, and I ripped it down just so that it would be a little bit uh, lighter and so that I'd be able to float it a little bit better. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put that inside my cloth here so that I get some charge on it as well. I'm going to go like this, and I'm just going to try to generate my static electricity. Okay, and as I move this away, you should see that the, the bag is well glued mm -hmm. to this guy. And that's not quite what I want because that's sort of a magnetic effect. So what I noticed that you can do, and I'm not fully sure of the mechanism here, but I'm guessing that I'm rubbing off free electrons <laughs> as I do this. Um, okay, Nate, will you hold this like yeah? Perfect. And I'm going to see if I can make this float. OK. Can you let go? Oh. It's kind of sticking to my hand. <laughs> it's kind of, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, okay. oh well, it's not off really. Camera it definitely now. went off camera. So I had it for just a minute earlier Let's today, but it's time, really yeah. tough to get it to stay, right. to float above. You can definitely see it coming back up, though. Yeah, and yeah. you can kind of see the interactions between it, but it's, it's sort of, so did you see that yeah. right there as yeah. I try to push it down, it gets pushed right back up towards It's hard my to balance hand. it. Yeah. But you can see, and then also as they make contact with each other, they're going to discharge. So it's a little bit of a tricky one. I also might not have said Wingardium Leviosa correctly. So yeah, you have to that say that. That could be the other reason. <laughs> um, OK, so anyways, static electricity, kind of a neat thing. Uh, just briefly, I was going to mention that as useless as we thought that static electricity was, or just kind of for fun, for interesting little particle tricks, there is now a belief that we might actually be able to harness static electricity. There are special generators being built. Google, I know, has this project where they're floating gigantic weather balloons up and trying to see if they can generate uh, usable electricity, electricity that flows through a wire from static electricity. So years from now, we may be able to actually pull electricity out of the air. There is more than enough electricity in the atmosphere of our Earth to power every electronic device, every piece of mm -hmm. every electrical need that we have. The question is just how do you access it? I mean, just like millions of kids and balloons. Just right. I mean, that is like, yeah. that's that energy. That is one way to access it for sure. <laughs> So anyways, if you enjoyed this, this is something that I strongly encourage you to play with at home. It's kind of hard to do this in a dangerous way, although we did make the joke about it being shocking. Uh, it's pretty <laughs> safe. So I, I recommend getting the PVC pipe if you can, but like I said, uh, balloon works perfectly well. Um, and just sort of mess around with different things. Tiny objects, light objects will tend to work better than heavier objects. But, uh, so yeah. hopefully you enjoyed this experiment. We're going to go on break in just a minute. We'll see you back in the homework hotline studio in just a sec.